corner wise. Whoa, corner wise. Whoa. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today, we're gonna to do a video on my M5. It's been a very long time since I've filmed it. Uh, I've actually just collected about from a Volvo to my and I thought, why not do a six month ownership review? And at the same time, be brutally honest about it as well. Something I've never really done. Also, I'm gonna shoot this whole video in POV form. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos recently and I love the POV style videos. So we're gonna shoot you from start to end. I'll probably switch to another angle just to get like a little cutaway if I have any slip ups. I feel I've got somebody following me right now. So fly to the unit, go over the spec, go over the modifications, and then we'll go and hit the road. Sorry, I was like burping as I said that. Right, so we are back at the unit. Firstly, you're probably wondering what's going on with the floor. Well, I've moaned to you a couple of times now about the carpet I've had put in. So as soon as I drive a car in, I have to hoover immediately. It just looks really scruffy. And for photos, it's just been getting really annoying. So I've had the floor leveled out. We're having a proper industrial flooring put down which hopefully means I won't have to clean it as soon as the car dries. And I mean, I expect to clean the unit every couple of days or once a week, but I'm talking like it leaves thick white lines. So hopefully the color I've chosen uh, will sort it out. I'm also having work done in the other units over there, which you lot have probably not even seen unless you follow me on Instagram. But anyway, let's speak about this M5 because right now, look at her. Is she not looking stunning? Like with those walls, this is a dream spec M5 for me. This is a car that I'd build in Forza. Remember you should just fully more than M5 in the game. Like that is what this is. You know, a few of you have been going on about this arch gap, and I think you're right. This could do sitting a bit lower, but it rides nice around town. That's the main thing. So let's start off by talking about the make, the model, the spec of the car. So obviously it's finished in snapper rock blue. A lot of you seem to be big, big fans of this color. Me personally, when I first purchased it, I weren't a fan of the color. I only bought this car because it was the cheapest online. It was up for 57,000 pounds. What drew me to it was the carbon ceramic brakes. And in my head, for a hundred percent fact, I was changing the color. But then as I started modding it, doing bits, I'm like, you know what? This snapper rock blue is actually really nice. And basically I've not really felt the need to change the color. So it's a bit BMW F90 M5, it's the latest generation, non-competition pack, uh, 4.4 litre V8 twin turbo engine from factory, puts out around 590 horsepower. The competition packs have a little bit more power, they sit lower, there's a few other exterior styling mods. Uh, but apart from that, they're basically the same car. Zero to 60 BMW claim this does it in around 3.4 seconds, which is crazy, guys, 3.4 seconds. I mean, people have tested these cars. I think even in stock form, they've hit 60 in under three seconds. This is a magic car, like, if that even makes sense, as in, Guys, it weighs nearly two tons. Like, okay, it's got an X drive system, all wheel drive, power goes to all four wheels, but zero to 60 in under three seconds. Like, are we being serious for a car that weighs two tons? And not only is it extremely fast out of the box, have you seen the way these things handle? Like, I've said it to you many times that I believe this handles better than my GTR. We all know how good GTRs handle. What are they, seven minute 30 on a Nürburgring? Very, very capable cars. On the street, this car, is something else. Obviously top speed, you're gonna do over 200 miles per hour. I've done 207 in a standing mile. So let's go over some of the mods that I've had done to the car. So what we'll do is we'll open the bonnet because a lot of you like to complain that I never show you the engine bay. Right. So it's had Carrillo rods, CP pistons. Uh, the crankshaft is forged from factory, but it has been rebalanced and it's also been micro polished by RK Auto Works. So basically on the crankshaft, it creates these veins so that it helps keep the crankshaft more lubricated. Uh, it's also had a modified oil pump. It's had upgraded rod bearings. As you can see, you've got two carbon fiber even Turi induction kits. They look beautiful. Uh, these on a the stock M5 will give you around 20 to 30 extra horsepower. Also, it will drop your 60 to 130 times 
iron by like two temps, which is absolutely crazy. We've got stock charge pipes, stock charge coolers. As you see, you've got this nice engine bay cover. And behind here is where you've got the upgraded hybrid turbo. So we went with a set of Garrett GT3076 r gen 2 turbos uh, as i say they are technically hybrids but they are like big turbos they've got upgraded compressor and turbine wheel and they are around a thousand horsepower capable so obviously when i first uh, started this build i told you i was going to change the housing to make this run an extra apparently 200 horsepower you can do uh, by changing the housing but you know what i'm happy with the car like the performance is just out of this world i've actually just picked it back up off a of volt because i'm trying to tell him that the car's a little too fast like so he's actually pulled boost back for my v power mat obviously race fuel is where this car will just absolutely be a savage but for daily driving this car is actually a lot better right now so that's the engine the turbos it's also running a, a custom evolve automotive tune uh, so so this car hasn't been on the dyno but if you've seen the other two builds that are built alongside my car so there's three of these in the uk basically that are built to this standard and uh, imran's car himself which produces exactly the same times as mine did 908 wheel horsepower so if you convert that to the crank that could be over a thousand you could be looking at a thousand and fifty horsepower to be fair it's also running methanol injection you get a meth controller which is located down here in this drawer pocket glove whatever you want to call it so you can see there i wasn't meant to have it mounted in there so yeah you actually get a let me bloody turn that off so this methanol system actually comes with a purge mode so if i actually hold this button down it will spray meth whilst i'm driving and it'll just cool down the intake term tank is actually located in the boot and uh, this is for anybody confused this is just to keep the intake temperatures nice and cool as you can see you've got this tank here which you have to fill up the meth i'm not going to lie to you it's really really annoying uh, running meth this is actually just my old induction kit you have to keep that full up this car absolutely drinks meth and this car is actually meth dependent so we actually have to be running meth if we're not it can be dangerous uh, i mean it was only pull time in and you know the car will stay safe if i run out but the controller uh, when the meth's low this will flash letting me know to fill up so that's pretty cool moving on to the exterior so we actually had a company called auto id install some carbon fiber uh, we also had the black kidney grills by auto id uh, these side splitters were already here but this part here i just got this to finish off and tie in the front i was thinking to replace it and do like a full lip but I actually like the fact it's different. I've not seen many M5s running a setup like this. And Ricky does like to be different. We also got the carbon fiber side blades from factory. Uh, it did have a lip originally, but this one's upgraded by Auto ID. It's just a bigger flick. Really good quality. We've got the M performance diffuser. Exhaust is completely stock, obviously, apart from the decat downpipes, which are installed by uh, Evolve Automotive. I think he may have used Super Sprint downpipes, fully decatted, really, really loud and uh yeah i'm trying to think what else we had mss springs installed which is why it's sitting nice and low so it's actually an adjustable spring kit and they're set to its lowest setting as i mentioned to you the front could do being a little bit lower also we have got the carbon fiber ceramics behind there as well and the last thing i'll mention is the wheels so i went with a set of 21 inch uh, r101hres uh, they are 10j on the front 11j on the rear we've got a brand new set michelin pilot sport 4s 275 30 on the front and uh, what did we got on the rear i think it was 295 uh, 295, 295, yeah, 295, 30 on the rear. The rears weigh about 8.5 kilos and the front is about 8.1 kilos. So forged aluminium, uh, monoblock, one piece design. And uh, yeah, these are my absolute dream wheels and why I think this car looks as good as it does. But yeah, let's go for a drive. take a different route change up the scenery usually it's just a left test track when i start with this video i mean i'm just gonna completely freestyle it i don't think there's gonna be much structure to it i'm gonna just speak my mind really i'm gonna start off by talking about how fast it is yeah so about the power now since collecting it back from evolve the power feels so much nicer like before the throttle was very aggressive and now it's a bit more usable so obviously you've got the eight speed zf box mind the potholes geez hre's and that flipping now trying to do to me so yeah eight speed zf box which i do like to change using the uh, stick here and of course you've got the paddles and uh you can notice it's a little bit 
slower than the dual clutch, even in the F10. You don't get that real aggressive, like, it felt a bit more natural with the DCT. With this, there is a little thump, but it just doesn't hit like the dual clutch. Right now, I've got the Throttle in Sport Plus. I've got the suspension in comfort and the steering in comfort. I've made a habit of, I don't know, before I used to think of M cars, heavy steering, feedback, but with these new electronic racks, there's no feedback. You don't feel the road the same as you would in the previous generation M cars. Uh, so I like the steering nice and light. It just makes the car feel a little bit more agile. Now, one of my favorite parts of the M5 has got to be the cabin. And I'm being deadly serious. The cabin for me, it's just stunning. It's a little bit dusty right now. I could do a little clean actually. But yeah, the cabin is where it's at for me. When it hits about five o'clock, 5.30, uh, the ambient lighting inside this cabin is just something else. I've got it set to green at the moment. But yeah, I just like the overall design of the cabin. I just think it's really special. Uh, you guys know I'm a massive fan of the E63. I reckon the E63 does have the edge, but this is very, very nice, don't get me wrong. The ambient lighting, you can change the color of, like you've got at least 10, 15 different options. But yeah, it's just such a comfortable car to drive. Like all the cars I've ever owned, this is my favorite for daily driving, 100%. It's juicy as hell, forget fuel. Fuel is disgusting. It's the worst I've ever, I think it's worse than the Hellcat. The Hellcat's got a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, but this seems to be worse. Even when it was in stock form, it was worse. It's not got any worse since the modifications, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, fuel, I, I don't know miles per gallon, you know, I've never really been bothered. I just put fuel in and all I can say to you is that it drinks. Such an easy car to drive around town. I mean, considering the modifications, it's not altered anything about its daily drivability. I think initially I noticed there was a tiny bit more turbo lag, but you remember, we're not big turbos, they're only hybrids, they're still coming at about, well, I think under 4,000 RPM. But yeah, the, 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 the cabin's nice and quiet. You can clearly hear my voice. There's not loads of road noise. And everywhere I go, everybody just looks at it like, it's like I'm driving a supercar or something. Um, maybe that's a bit over the top, but, but like just driving through here now, I've seen at least two people staring at the car. And it's one of them cars that, you know, Emma worries about, you know, like when I'm in it, she's like, oh, what are you doing in the M5? Like, I'm really joking, Emma. <laughs> you know them ones when the missus all power and that? Yeah, Emma, you know what it is. But yeah, we've got the smoke white interior. Uh, you've got memory settings, you've got look, black steering, black stitching on the door cards. Uh, you've got like a digital dash, which is uh, masked up with Gorilla Tape right now. Got to keep it safe, people. Some batty tunes though, yeah? But look at these cars, they're all just staring. It's like, yo, man just see Super M5, yo! Trust me. I mean, more than the performance, I love daily driving this car. It's just an amazing place to be. It feels special, as I say, you get attention, if that's your thing. Uh, it's not really my thing, but yeah, get me. You get one or two people looking. And let me know about the POV angle, because we can shoot these 24 seven, because they're easy. But yeah, steering's nice and light. It inspires shitloads of confidence. I know I've got the MSS suspension, but brutally honest, I haven't noticed a massive difference because these cars are just so good nowadays that how are you gonna notice? Like, it definitely became a little stiffer, I would say. Let's get my foot down down there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and as I say, we've had the tune refined and it's still like, this is what I'm trying to say, like, I, I, I genuinely was like, him on the cars, it's just too savage. And even now, like, you can feel there's almost like a bit more lag on the throttle. Uh, I would say it's probably gonna, I'm hoping it's gonna make it a bit more usable when I'm um, using the throttle in corners. Yeah, just pull out, mate. Hell, got to stop on a roundabout. Let's put foot down now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, you feel it at the end of the RPM, it starts pulling even more. Like, you think it's the end, but it keeps pulling. I ain't got a clue, I need to get this on the dyno. Imran's dyno is nearly complete, so we'll be interested to see what it's running on V-Power now, but uh, on race fuel, it's just gonna be something chaos. Like, corner-wise, whoa, corner-wise, whoa. Sideways then, boy. 
it's just so effortless the power man it's you know pov driving is not the most sensible thing to do in a car like this because you know you hit one two three gears it's like that's it it's done that's why you got to at least get on a dual carriageway where we can where we can hit 70 miles per hour you know even at speed it's nice and stable the road noise isn't crazy honestly there are a few rattles in this car which are a little bit annoying very very frustrating man some of the noises like even yesterday coming back from evolve i just heard a couple of little rattles and i haven't looked though it could have been, even been something in the boot i haven't noticed it today Jesus. So yeah, there's loads of different settings with this car. Like, I don't know how many combinations you can do, but as I, as I already mentioned, you can change the throttle, the, the dampers, and the steering. You can also click on setup here, and um, I have my head display off. Uh, you can change the MX drive to four wheel drive, four wheel drive sport, and you can also make it rear wheel drive. We're not gonna do that today. So if you look at the steering wheel here, you've got these two red triggers, M1 and M2. And what you can do is you can have your own custom uh, driving mode set up. So you can have like a daily driving set up here. And then like, you know, if you hit track days, you can set this button up for that. So it's just nice and easy rather than having to toggle through these settings. Love this M5, it's such a sick car. And I mean, after six months of ownership, I still love it. Like obviously I've got four or five different cars around me. So I'm not daily driving this car. Uh, but every time I get in it, I have not got bored of this car one bit. I mean, for content, maybe, you know, I'm not the guy that likes to, to rinse and milk content out. I like to just, you know, naturally want to make a video of a car. I don't want to force myself, like, you guys always commenting, oh, I'll make some videos. I'm like, whoa, well, you know, I'm on it, but it's got to be natural. I don't like to force, force it, you know? Foot down, the torque is just, yeah. It is a big footprint. You've got to get used to it. I've curbed the wheels on this car probably twice. Not my new wheels, of course. Well, I say that, like I nearly just curbed it. Oh, we've got Oscar. Oh, he's coming down to get cinematics. <laughs> well, that's too funny. He's on his way to the unit to get me some shots. <laughs> Man like Oscar. That is two jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I bought this car on 6,000 miles. It's now on 10,485. So I've done next to nothing in it, really. So in six months, I've done what? Four and a half thousand miles. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Like, that is how little I drive this car. Like, my M4, I did 20 something thousand miles in a year. So that just goes to show you how little this car gets driven. I would say, out of all of my cars, the M5 is my favorite. It is an absolute dream build thousand horsepower you know sitting on the hre r101s like this is as i mentioned already it's something that you're building forza like it's ridiculous i'm not trying to like gas it showboat and you know i just, just obviously grateful to be in a position to be doing what i'm doing you know i built the brand over five six years i know some of you are like oh the channel's quiet and whatnot but that's why for any youtubers that are watching i mentioned many times that do not ever become reliant on youtube alone you need to be getting onto other things as many youtubers you're watching now you know having to 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 work out other other ideas because like you're saying use me as an example of what can happen you know but for me thank god that i am safe i've got other things you know in the process you see the llf games going really well and i've got some exciting news to, to tell you a lot soon as well like I've got so much stuff going on in my personal life that you just, yeah, it's just, it's constant. It's been a while, man, driving this car, so, yeah. Jesus, the ceramics on this car, the braking power. It's more impressive than the flipping engine power. I'm telling you right now, it's day and night brakes-wise with the ceramics. Now, I was never a massive fan of ceramics, only because back in the day I drove the M4 CS, which had ceramics, and I was like, they feel stock like yeah initially there's a little bit more bite but on the m5 they're they're totally different you've probably seen the car wow videos with this m5 um oh shit man i've got gopros hanging off the car and yeah you've probably seen the car wow videos where it's done the brake test with this and it is it actually beat the rh3 and the porsche turbo which is absolutely amazing get some windows down for you lot <laughs> <laughs> my god it's it's a whole other car now with the um with a window down. Oh! -ho! Oh my 
god. Fuck. It is what it is, people. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> we just time traveled. <laughs> See that surface, right? It was a bit slippery there, and I felt my brakes were not even working. It was almost just skipping. Yeah, boy. You know, I'm getting that wheel shot today, yo. Motherfuckers, look at me because I got like this big square block on my head. Love your YouTube videos. Thank you, mate. Nice car, man. Cool. ST in that. Jeez! Gone! If anyone that don't know, I actually owned a Mark II SD. Big, big fan. I've had this car for six months and I have not bought this car one bit. Back now, let's get them all down. Have a listen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Steering's lovely. <laughs> no, it's like a bomb goes off every time. Lord, and the brakes you need the ceramics on this car, especially running this kind of power. But don't get me wrong. These cars run in a stage one tune. Even in stock form, this car was off key. It was so fast. Like, I'm sitting here getting gas because of the power, but these are rockets anyway. You're dealing with a car that can do hundreds to 200 kilometers in seven seconds flat from factory. This car now does it in 4.3 right now, running V power. It's probably doing it in five, you know? But. Whoa. But look guys, I know we've had a shitload of mods put on the car, but even in stock form, I was loving this car with the stock wheel suspension, the stock power, it was perfection. And I know for a fact that even without the mods, I would still feel the same. I've not felt this much love for a car in a very long time, man. So guys, I don't know what happened there. Uh, basically, looking at the GoPro, so I'm filming on the new GoPro 9. It's very weird, where it mounted to my forehead, the image actually saves to the to the front of the GoPro, so it looks like it's on, but it's actually off. So I lost loads of content, which I didn't know about. Hopefully the video still turned out okay. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just wanted to give you my thoughts and feelings towards the M5. I'm still absolutely loving that car. And let me know what you want to see next on that car. Do you want to see me racing the McLaren? And by the way, this video was actually shot before the reveal of the McLaren. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's messaged me, all of the support and love you are giving me. Sorry if I haven't actually replied to you. It's, social media gets a little hectic sometimes, but I probably have read your message. I'm going to say a massive thank you. Uh, so yeah, man, just bear with me with the McLaren. Um, I don't know if you caught the message at the beginning. Genuinely, I was not ready to film the car. I've seen some people saying, is it a write-off? Has it been T-boned? Guys, the car has been fully sprayed. Every panel has been removed, the doors, everything. When we pulled up, I wasn't ready to reveal the car. But next week, we're obviously gonna go do a proper collection. We'll do a first drive and we'll go over it in full detail. I'll speak about the spec, how much the car was brand new. And yeah, man, oh, I can't wait to start making content with that. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.